I haven't did a video on the Kerberos SDR yet, and I came across the, a post on RTL SDR.com where they used a Kerberos uh, to simultaneously uh, monitor air traffic control, ACARS, which is uh, aircraft communicating address and reporting, uh, VDL2, which I, I think in some cases is, is a replacement for ACARS, and then uh, ADSB. So, and they did all that uh, with the Kerberos and a Pi. Uh, and in this video, I wanted to use uh, the Kerberos that I have uh, with a older Dell laptop. I don't have the airband quarter wave antenna. All I have is uh, individual telescopic antennas. So we'll see how. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up a lot with the uh, airband being the uh, distance of the airport, but we'll see. Uh, and then I want to throw one more. I have a, uh, an RTL SDR as well, so I'll throw that in. And so we'll try and get uh, five uh, five software defined radios going at one time here. So let's get right into this. This is just a diagram showing you, uh, well, giving you kind of an idea of what the Kerberos SDR is. And then if you wanted to go get these antennas, uh, what they look like. I'll put the link in the uh, or all the links in the in the description. Uh, so some software is pre-installed in Dragon OS, some is not. I just wanted to show how you could use multiple radios at one time. Okay, so, and before we get started, I did notice, uh, tried this out before, I did notice I got an error with, uh, uh, let's see, I'll just show you right here. So temporarily elevate to root with uh, sudo su. And I'll go ahead. So I had got an error about the size of the USB F USB FS memory, and uh, by default it's allocated a 16. And you can do some research on this here and see what uh, some suggested settings are and why you may get an error. So I just went ahead and. Um, I'll give you a second here. This this command right here. I want to echo this into this file. You're not going to get any 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 feedback back, but you can uh, you can check it out here. So I'm tabbing it out right now. I kind of get it going, and I can see it's a thousand now. That's that's not going to stick through a reboot. Uh, I'm just doing this temporary. There is some methods that you can get that to stick through a reboot if you need it. But I just wanted to show you. Um, now you're more than welcome to try to go through these steps without putting that in there. Uh, if you're doing the command line tools, which I'll show you, and you and that error pops up or something isn't running, that's probably what's wrong. So let's go ahead. We'll exit out of that. Come back here now that we've got that set. We can copy and paste as we go down through this uh, tutorial here. We don't need anything that has to do with the Pi. Okay, good. So we want to first get Airband installed. You can see it's an AM demodulator, supports multiple channels per dongle. We will copy and paste. Make sure you're, and I just I just do this to keep myself straight in the user source directory. If we, if you weren't there, you just change directory, user source. Okay, we've got Airband pulled down. We'll go ahead and skip down to, there we go. We want to sudo make platform equals x86. Okay. 
do sudo make install. And so that will take care of the command line part. And then we want to be able to stream that audio into a browser. So that's why we're going to install Icecast 2. All right, choose this option to set up passwords for Icecast 2. So we'll go ahead and configure. We'll leave that local host. And we'll just go ahead and make this Kerberos SDR. Kerberos SDR. Just make that. I'll just keep it all the same. Okay. Remember those passwords, whatever you uh, make them. That'll come into that'll come into play here in a second. Next, you're going to edit the Airband comp file. They give you a example here. And see where it's located at. My command, I'm doing VI versus nano for just a second here because um, it's just easier. You'll see I've already uh, I've already did this part actually but you would open up the default delete everything that's in it and then you can copy and paste uh, their example I'm going to change a couple things here and I'll show you why so I mentioned that I have five dongles plugged in so so we'll do RTL test I'll just show you here a second you can see I've got five devices the 0, 1, 2, and 3 are the Kerberos SDR. The 4 is the separate RTL SDR. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep myself straight here. I'm going to make Airband use the uh, 0, the first one. save that. Uh, the other thing we need to fix is the and we can change back to nano. Some people might find that easier but I'll come down here and the password since in this video we're doing Kerberos SDR. Username you can leave a source and the frequencies you would want to look at uh, whatever the tower ground uh, or frequencies are at your location. You can put, I think, up to five in there, and then you would put the associated labeling but right below it. So let's save that. Okay. We'll come back here. So we're done with the airband part. We're going to skip dump 1090 because I'm going to change it up and we're going to use uh, Kismet. So we want to hit the aircraft communications address and reporting system. I've got its link pulled up here. And you come down here. Make sure you're grabbing the right file. ACARS Deco 1804. Download that. Okay, 
remember when you're downloading in a browser, it's going to put it in the your home username downloads folder. Just to keep myself straight, I'll move this to the user source directory. Change directory user source. We will make a directory. Deco2. And all I'm doing here is just because when I unzip this, I know it's going to spit out a bunch of files. I'm just making it easy. I'm moving it to the uh, folder I just created. Okay, there we go. Let's come back here. Okay, so it just wants us to, we're going to build it. So we'll first extract it. Okay, there's our files. Actually, this one we don't have to build, sorry. We'll come down. So dump VDL2. Again, we'll make sure we have everything installed that we need. Okay. We'll change back to our user source. Take a look at the website for this package, a library for decoding various ACARS message payloads. We'll copy. And paste. Change into there. Make a build directory. Change directory build to sudo cmake. sudo make install. That's finished. change back to the user source. We'll grab our last package here, which is the dump VDL2. You can see message decoder and protocol analyzer. Copy. Paste. Essentially do the same thing, make a build directory, change directory build, to do CMake. Sudo make. So we're gonna need a couple windows open here. leave that one open because that's actually in that ACARS deco. Actually everything else we installed so let's see one two we'll start out with the uh, Three open, plus we're waiting for this to finish the building. So we'll do see to make install. Okay. Now we're going to run this. So we configured Airband.
really it doesn't matter where you're at running this so sudo f okay so that's going to scan through the frequencies that we put in the configuration file move this around here I'll put this up here I don't think we're going to pick anything up there. Next, we want to open the IceCast server. Uh, let's see. So there's the address. We'll replace that uh, Raspberry Pi address. I'll just do localhost or 127. Uh, let's see. And I've already typed it in. Okay, we'll pull this out. Now this would be streaming the audio from the channels here that it's going through. Uh, I'll organize this here in a second. So, dump 1090, we'll skip that. A cars. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this in the window where we're actually in the user source because we're looking for this file right here copy paste so we're going to execute that file which is what this is saying device index one that's fine because we st we stuck the air band at zero so let's jump up to the next uh, radio they've already got some frequencies in here that are uh, uh, sort of defaults for my location here we want to change the ip address and you can put whatever ip address in uh, that your system has, I'm just going to stick, uh, uh, let's see, port 8081, 80, so now we've got the next radio running, and we'll open another browser on 8081, you can see, got this here, I'm just going to minimize this so so we leave this running this is the result of running that so VDL2 we want to run that and that is uh, in a terminal only so we'll pull open one of our other windows to, uh, the index 2, that's fine. So now we've used 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So, so far we're using three different radios. Let's see, how can we do this here? This is not very organized, but we'll, we'll get it. So see, we're already getting information here. And then last, we'll use the Kismet. I'll open this in a, in a browser. I'll minimize this. Get that out of the way. So we've got this, this, this. Now we've got Kismet. Data sources. And we want to use, let's see, so we've used 0, 1, 2, 3, or sorry, 0, 1, and 2. So now we'll use, let's see, let's try, let's try the third interface here. Okay. 
so we'll wait for some information to come across there. There we go. So now we've got Kismet. And let's see, we don't need any of these others open. We're done with that right now. I'll duplicate this tab in here we'll open the ADSB live map let's see Now it wouldn't surprise me if I don't get a lot of information because there's really not a lot of flights going out around here. So uh, under the circumstances, we might not get a lot of information. But so so far we're using one, two, three, four radios, and let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, we'll use the the fifth radio. Uh, let me think here. So. you can specify USB index so dash B let's see all right let's give this a shot dash D RTL 433 dash D 4 see what we get okay so now we're using five radios here and this last one is just picking up some sensors right around me. And you can organize this better if you had a bigger uh, screen. You can lay this out a little better. And maybe you're in an area where there's actually some flights occurring right now. Um, it's uh, probably just not a good time. I'll leave this running for a while. Okay, we can see we picked up Boeing 737. We've got uh, some of the information over here. We've been getting information in on VDL 2. And then just, just because we're using our fifth radio with RTL uh, 433, you can see I click over on the map here. Uh, got to have internet, of course. And so as you pick up the flights, you'll get them in your map here. So... There you go, that's using five radios.